don't know what I got, but if I get this in, it's gonna be the first fish I ever landed. What is up? Whew. Boy, the things changed here in the panhandle. Water temperatures have warmed up a little bit. And uh, last three times out, I've hooked fish. It's starting to change. So I haven't caught a pompano or a whiting. But, uh, you know, I, hooked, I finally hooked some fish and landed a couple of fish, including a blue down at Navarre Beach. Big shout out to... Um, Brian uh, Demo and Mike Smith Smitty uh, from the Panhandle Fishing Report podcast. Those guys put on a rod demo at Navarre Beach a week ago um, and did some good networking down there. Met some cool people, got to cast some rods. These guys do an awesome job. They're very helpful. Um, you know, for a person in my position who just got here to the Panhandle, uh, their information is invaluable. So it's really helped me learn a lot and now I'm starting to catch some fish so shout out to those guys big shout out to uh, again to Perdido Blaine um, he's rocking and rolling go full-time with his charter business now if you want to go kayak fishing or uh, surf casting you can look him up so all three of those guys will take care of you if you want to do some charter surf fishing um, I myself you probably wouldn't want to go with me just yet but anyway um, got a fishing kayak from Old Town. I'll be doing a review on that here soon. Um, and a big shout out as well to the guys over at Hammerhead Kayaks. Um, they are a dealer for Magic Tilt trailers. And I went over a couple days ago and picked up a trailer from them. Uh, trailers are really difficult to find right now. But it's a purpose built trailer um, for kayaks. All the tie downs are in the perfect spots. It's an awesome trailer. So uh, super easy to get around as well. So. Uh, we'll be talking about that here in the upcoming video, but this video is going to be a little bit of action from the beach in Navarre and at the demo And then my visit to uh, Hammerhead Kayaks over in Theodore, Alabama Where those guys took care of me and hooked me up with a really sweet trailer. So uh, I'm actually going to get that out later today and um, See what's going on out here in the kayak world. I can't wait. It's been I got the kayak, I got, then I needed a trailer to transport. I got the trailer, kayaks on the trailer, and it's been freezing. The first day I had the trailer, it was blowing 45 miles an hour and cold, and then yesterday it was cold, like in the 20s in the morning. This morning it was low 30s, so, but it's supposed to warm up into the mid 60s today, upper 60s. I'm gonna actually get the kayak out on the bayou today, and uh, that's where this video is going. So, um, Hope you enjoy the video. I've got some fish in action coming up on this video. And believe it or not, I've got some other fishing video where I caught a bull red on the fly rod. So stay tuned for that. And I'll also be doing kind of an overview of the Old Town Predator PDL 120, uh, putting it together and all of its features. I know there's a million of those reviews online, but um, I'll do my version of it and hopefully you enjoy that. All right, LG the Grumpy Panhandle Fisherman. Enjoy the video, guys. All right, man. Well, uh, out here at Navarre Beach this morning. Got one rod in the water. Haven't fished here before. But uh, just what I could read from the break, I like this spot. Big waves, big waves, small waves. So I'm guessing it's a little deeper right here. Just from all the things I've learned, you guys, watching and reading. We got a uh, rod demo going on out here today. Smitty and Demo putting that together. Got my pyramid weights that I got at the Outcast sale. Super cheap, inexpensive.
fish bites were half price at the sale we got a bunch of that just trying to get get a few rods out there before I kind of settle in here so, I got shrimp and fish bites on this first rod that's my ham and egger setup that I got at the sale for I think it was 80 85 bucks for the rod and reel the pen fear setup kind of hard to beat it that outcast sale was going off man and you see that rod tip Bob and that's wave action far as I know <laughs> but it is beautiful out here this morning so again main objective when I first get here is just get some get some stuff out in the water man we can fine-tune it later so let's get a couple rods out there and uh, do it like it I like to let it sink and then uh, you feel it on the bottom and then I just kind of slowly set my rod tip so the line's tight. Here we go. So we got two rods in the water. Life is good. Bell G, the Grumpy Panhandle Fisherman. We got a mini tournament going today. We're looking for a 13 inch whiting to take home some uh, green gill get and some fish bites. Not a big deal either way, but you know, kind of fun to come out of here and try. I'm gonna be getting on the fly rod before too long. I'm just trying to get this uh, surf casting thing down. I got the gear. I finally hooked the fish last time I was out of big fish. I don't know what it was, but. Uh, some people caught Pompano yesterday over in Mexico Beach is on the other side of Panama City so they're gonna start showing up water temperature 65 degrees today I think that's kind of a semi magic number I'll be back So all that rod tip dipping is, uh, it looks fishy, but that's just the waves pulling the line down. It's pretty rocking out here this morning. And sun's officially up. That's usually when the bite turns off, so I'll be back, guys. All right, LG the Grumpy Panhandle Fisherman, check it out. The boys are all here. These are all demo rods if you want to come down and check out the latest and greatest got a lot of people throwing rods personally um, I threw the ninja dagger and I really like that one so it's, it's a lot more forgiving than a couple of the rods I throw but uh, everybody's chilling chillaxing and if you if you surf cast and you want to find out about what's going on in the panhandle these are the guys Demo. What's up? And Smitty, right hey. there. Friday nights, Friday nights at 7.30, our time. What is our time? Central. Central. Central time, every Friday night. Check them out. Too much good Pan information right Pan there. It is, Panhandle Fishing Report. I got so much good information from them that today I actually landed a fish. It was amazing. <laughs> Very nice one. Yeah. So yeah, that's what's going on today. You see, you see these flags flying right here? You know there's trouble in town. And uh, they run charter service too. That's Smitty Surf Fishing and uh, Finding Demo. Those guys will take care of you if you want to learn how to do this, big time. And uh, we're at it in the bar beach today. Anyway, LG, the grumpy pan handle fisherman. I landed my first fish today, a big, nice big blue, I think over 16 inches. And uh, a lot of people out fishing and enjoying a nice day. Boom, I'm out. Catch All up right, with you I'm later. on, guys. I'm on. I am on. Fish 
don't know what I got, but if I get this in, it's going to be the first fish I ever landed. Pretty violent eat. Oh, yeah. What do we got, fellas? Let's see. What do we got? Almost cut. It's a blue. Right on. Nice. Pretty good one too. Nice. All right. I was gonna go fish today. I blew it off because of the weather. I probably should have gone. I uh, probably could have had a good morning out there. But with that said, doing a little trailer shopping today for the kayak. And uh gonna be heading over to Alabama to go look at some stuff with uh, MJ the Wonder Dog kind of a dreary day but uh, yeah got up it was raining went back to bed so gonna try and get the uh, kayak rigged up ready to roll I, I gotta get a trailer for it and today might be the day so that's what's up the grumpy panhandle fisherman hey shout out to the uh, fly fishers of Northwest Florida last night I went to their fly tying session that was a lot of fun good bunch of guys and uh, their club is close to the house. It only takes, uh, I don't know, it's like a five-minute drive from here, which was cool. Anyway, uh, we'll catch up with you in a little bit. I'm out. What's up, MJ? MJ's chilling. He's ready to go home. We are at uh, Hammerhead Kayak. The reason I'm here today, I'll take you inside in a second. These guys are over in Theodore, Alabama. They got some super affordable kayaks all the way around. But um, this is the reason I'm here today. These Magic Tilt trailers. Super lightweight. Super easy to move around. And um, that's me. Right there. Yes, sir. Taking one of those home today. So I'll be mobile with my kayak now. I don't, I don't have to go very far to get it in the water, but there's no way, you gotta have a trailer to transport it. So that's, that is the deal. Magic tilt. Uh. Um, and then this is Hammerhead inside. They sell a variety of kayaks, but this they got their brand in here and they're super affordable. Check out this sweet rig. Four built-in rod holders. Steering. $6.99. Extra rod holder. And then pedal drive. This is the uh, Angler 120. $14.59 for pedal drive, man. It's pretty aggressive. Anyway, they got about 75 kayaks in stock a couple weeks ago, and they have sold a bunch. You need your accessories, they can get you hooked up. Sweet. Operating out of a little warehouse, getting it done. That's me. Boom. Are you kind of busy? Almost finished with this. <laughs> well, we thought today, today was his birthday. We thought we'd go to lunch. Yeah, perfect. And, uh, and, we, got, and we came back and there were three people. <laughs> they just sold three trailers. Just like that. All right. LG, uh, the Grumpy Panhandle Fisherman from Hammerhead Headquarters in Theodore, Alabama. Gonna get a trailer today and get her done. Okay.